The most voted upon idea from our fans is sniper tanks versus light tanks charging them, where snipers consist of lightly armored and excellent long range cannon vehicles to see if they can stop a swarm of light tanks charging them in an open field before getting too close in which once they do, they'll be allowed to fire back. Will our sniper participants be able to remain control of their hill, or will the rush of light tanks overtake them? Today, we find out. Round 1, we do low battle rating vehicles such as the Flak 88 Half Truck, Yag 10, and others for snipers, and for lights, Pumas, M22s, and others. For round 2, we allow participants to choose any low to mid battle rating vehicle, and then our last round consists of allowing all VRs. The snipers position themselves on the hill as they brace themselves for the wave of fast vehicles about to charge them. The rule is that those on the fast tank team couldn't shoot back until they had at least passed the A capture point. And both sides were only allowed to use the half of the map where the A capture point side was on where there's nothing but open field. Our participants voted to try 20 snipers versus 35 fast tanks. Let's see who will win round one. Already the sniper team is getting hits from 2400 meters away. With some already getting hit, the fast tank teams that had smoke shells tried firing them toward the snipers to blind them and help save them from the rain of sniper fire upon them. The fast team has already reached halfway to the A point that will allow them to shoot back. went off to the far flank, which the snipers don't seem to notice. And there is just so many fast tanks still alive and about to reach the A point. This could really look bad for the snipers. I can't imagine what was going through the fast team's minds. It looked like something right out of a war movie where everyone is just rushing toward the enemy while yelling. It's funny how most of them didn't seem to care when their friends got hit next to them. Just rushing to get to the A point to fire was their focus. First sniper to follow was some on the fast team now reaching at least the A point to start firing back. Flank also now reaching the point to fire back. Is there still hope for our sniper contestants now? smart to use the high explosive round since not many are very well armored or are open top vehicles that will allow for an easy kill on their targets. And those on the flank just wasting the snipers while most snipers are focused on trying to hold off those rushing right in front of them. The sniper 
team killed off with 8 left and 16 left on the fast team. How close of a game will this be? lines up to get ready for their charge. Players are told the round has started as the first shot is taken from the sniper team already getting a kill. And here we go. other dead teammates when they knew snipers were focused on them and waited until they thought their attention was away when they started to try and rush again. reach the A point again that allows them to return fire. Will this be a repeat of last round? left in 16 on the fast team. TGMs weren't used, but now that I think about it, there also wasn't MBTs allowed as well, so I might need to monitor better next time. We now go into our last round where all VRs were allowed, along with laser rangefinders and everything. Let's see how this last round of chaos goes.
make sense for a score on this one. It was just for fun, but hope you all enjoyed the chaos, and thank you to all those that helped. You all stay cool, and keep tanking.